everybody. Hello and good afternoon. Greetings from Appleton, Wisconsin. All right, we are now loaded. Today is uh, August 8, Wednesday, 2018. Local time is 421. Temperature is 82 degrees. And uh, we are headed for Coppell, Texas. We are loaded with 41,500 pounds of minus 10 food products. Our scheduled delivery is Friday. Right now though, uh, Baby Blue and I are on our way to a interstate battery place because early this morning um, the reefer battery died and the girls had to go and rescue me and they had to give me a jump start. But uh, ever since I've been running it on continuous, it's been doing really good. We're only 2.1 miles to it. No big deal. Camera one, camera two, camera three. Once again, the camera is Sony HDR AS 300. And the GPS is a Rand McNally Overdrive 8 Pro. exactly where we're at. Behind me, way that way, is the uh, a place I used to pick up at. Going to Cole Township. Happy place, happy place, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Boy, that uh, that 
mechanic really did a number on Uncle Larry. I wish I could have videoed it. Oh, oop. You guys would have loved it. As, uh, as Mama and Campers were taking me to work, and I was trying to get my stuff out of the car into the truck, Tampers just downright refused to let me pet him. Oh, he wouldn't have it. He was so mad. He was so disappointed that I was leaving. Mama even opened the window so that uh, he could, you know, come over me. But no, 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 no. He wasn't having it at all. Okay, we are uh, we are good to go. Got the new battery fixed here at uh, Interstate. And uh, let's go to history here. Here we go. That's where we're headed for. And so let's just for so just so you guys can see where which way we're going. Just the same as last week. There you are. All right. Oh uh, boy, do I have a story for you guys. Let's first let's get out of here. Let me log back into the drive line. This is what I call a, a series of falls, mis unfortunate series of events. Here's why. I could also say this is one of those uh, situations that uh, in life, just because something bad is happening, that doesn't mean it's a bad thing.
this morning I as I was gathering my stuff and uh, I saw my blue parrot Bluetooth was still on the package that one of you sent in and I you know I had that I had my eye on it and uh, I was gonna I I was gonna bring it I was gonna you know all that said and done I uh, went on my way went to the truck I was so in a hurry only to find out that I forgot all about it and as I was trying to gather all my stuff the first thing I ever did was turn the reefer on to minus 10 because I needed time to make sure that I got it pre-cooled and sure enough I forgot my Bluetooth oh what a what a aggravation so I went down the road and uh, I looked behind me and my reefer indicator light was yellow and uh, meaning there was something wrong with it so I pulled over I pulled over and invest investigate and before I did I called my wife and I said I really need a Bluetooth and uh, so she said okay well be right there I was only about I don't know five miles from the house not even that so while I was messing around with the reefer and texting my boss what's going on what folk codes and all that stuff uh, she arrives my boss texts me and say that's a low battery indicator and he says you need to jump start it well my wife has a car <laughs> it's pretty hard to jump start that first of all I pulled over onto the off ramp uh, in order for me to jump start this reefer I would have to drop the reefer and then you know go alongside uh, with the truck so I could be able to jump start the truck but I don't like doing that and that's especially not on the on ramp off ramp so I uh, I took the Toyota Venza and used it to use it to jump start the reefer. My wife goes, "Oh, is this thing gonna be able to do that?" I said, "Well, the battery's not any bigger than the car. Yeah, it'll do it." So all said and done, uh, the uh, you know the reefer started right away. Boss man says, "Okay, put it on continuous." So I did. I got to the shipper. They loaded me right up. The boss man says, "How's the reefer?" I says, "Running fine. It's on continuous." He says, "Well, that needs to be a start stop." He says, hang on, I'll call if we can have a battery replaced. So he called, and uh, fortunately there was a battery plus five miles away from where I picked up the load. Went over there, went inside, I says, I need, uh, I need my battery replaced on a reefer. He says, well, we've never replaced the batteries in a reefer before. We don't know anything about it. I says, well, it's kind of complicated. You turn off the switch, turn off the engine. You take the battery out, put one in, flip the switch back in. That's all there is to it. I said, okay, we can do that. So I go into the store. And guess what I found? They sell those Makita 18 volt 
uh, cordless batteries. Now you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Last week on down to Oklahoma, uh, you guys have told me with, where to get it, links, uh, all kinds of places. And I took one of my batteries and I brought it into the store. I said, here, can you replace these? They said, yeah. At first they looked around in the display room, they didn't have it. Finally the guy goes upstairs. They've got two. So I bought two. Oh, they're a little pricey though. But they're made by uh, Interstate, Inter Interstate batteries. Well, I don't know if they're made by Interstate. I'm sure they're made in China. Put a sticker on it, Interstate. It's an Interstate battery. <laughs> Who knows, right? But they were $69.99, I think it is a piece. Ugh. So it came out to a hundred and something, forty something. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, I could probably buy a brand new cordless drill. One of those 24 bolts. Uh, more modern, more torque, more blah, blah, blah. A lot cheaper than I could buy these two pairs of batteries. But they were also, you know, they were also left behind by my late father. So how can you put a price on that, right? I mean, the drill itself, the motor, the chuck, everything works wonders. At first I was kind of getting discouraged because they didn't think they'd have it. But finally they, uh, I said, well, if I pay for them, will you guys mail it to my house? He says, well, we have a, a truck, a interstate truck, a uh, battery truck that goes to Sheboygan and delivers batteries. We can always up them out at your house. I said, okay, we'll do that. And it took a little bit longer for him to go upstairs and find him. But once he found him, and as of as we speak at the moment uh, right now, uh, I put them on a charger. At first, when I go to the, when I went and paid for him, I uh, took my original battery charger and. I plugged it into the wall, make sure the indicator light came on, and everything seems to be working. But right now it is charging, so that's a good thing. Welcome to Nina Menasha, home of Andy Booty Man. Andy is one of my subscribers that live around here. Met him a few times, went motorcycle with him, riding with him. Been to my house, what, twice? I think he's the great, great grand nephew of uh, King Arthur. <laughs> He's British. He's royalty. I had to call him Sir Andy. Right, Andy? Sir Andy? There you go.
there's our uh, grand total route going all the way to the big cabin Oklahoma and then taking uh, 69 We are currently traveling on Interstate Old Highway 41. Hey everybody, hello and welcome to Oshkosh, Wisconsin, Lake Butte. All right, local time, as you can see, it is We're going to exit on exit 113, Wisconsin, uh, Wisconsin 26, towards Wapon. There's a little shortcut. We're going to be headed towards uh, Madison, Wisconsin. We're going to take that little shortcut there. Go down to Madison, pick up Highway 90 and 94. Down to Beloit. Down to... Rockford, down to Rochelle, Illinois, Bloomington, Normal, Illinois. And down to St. Louis, Missouri. Okay, our grand total mileage right now is 1,061. 
in order for me to in order for me to take a break at the very worst case scenario I would have to bring that down to at least 730 miles that way I can drive it I can drive that all day long tomorrow and be there tomorrow night and be ready with full 11 hours of driving Friday morning I'm not exactly uh, all that I don't know I'm not too crazy driving that many miles today but worst case scenario I gotta bring it down to 730 because the best case scenario with baby blue on a full day um, on a full day 11 hour driving I noticed that baby blue can do 730 miles in an 11 hour driving period But I'm hoping I can do more than that, you know. I can do, I can, I'm hoping that I can do more today. That way, the less I could have to do tomorrow. So, all right, here we go. Here's our exit. Twenty-one miles to Highway One Fifty-One. 